गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टडी द टॉपिक स्टीलर इवोल्यूशन एंड टेरिडोफाइट्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर स्टीलर इवोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो व्हाट इज स्टील द नेम स्टील हैज बीन डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम ग्रीक वर्ड मीनिंग पिलर दिस वे द स्टील इज डिफाइंड एज अ सेंट्रल वैस्क्यूलर सिलेंडर विथ और विदाउट पिथ एंड डीलिमिटेड द कॉटेक्स बाय द एंडोडर्मिस स्टील कंसिस्ट ऑफ जाइलम फ्लोएम एंड पेरीसाइकल The Steeler theory was proposed by Van Tyssen and Dolliet in 1886. The major highlights of Steeler theory are: Steel is universally present in all higher plants. Cortex and steel are two fundamental parts of a shoot system. Steel and cortex are separated by the endodermis and main component of steel are xylem and phloem and the pericycle, medullary ray and pith are also the component of steel. Now we see the different types of steel based on ontogeny and phylogeny steel is divided into three types proto steel siphono steel and solano steel steel without pith is called proto steel steel with pith and without leaf gap is called siphono steel and steel with pith and leaf gap is called solano steel now we see in detail the different types of steel The first type of steel is proto steel. In proto steel the vascular tissue is a solid mass and the central core of the xylem is completely surrounded by a layer of phloem. This is the most primitive and simplest type of steel. Majority of pteridophytes show proto steelic condition in their rhizome stem or in root. Proto steel is further classified into five types. haplo steel actino steel plecto steel mixed proto steel mixed proto steel with pith first type of proto steel is haplo steel this is the most primitive type of proto steel here the central solid smooth core of xylem is surrounded by a layer of phloem this type of steel is mainly found in selaginella species Second type is actino steel this is the modification of the haplo steel xylem is star shaped and phloem is not present in a continuous manner phloem occur as separate patches between the arms of xylem example are xylotum and lycopodium ceratum next is plecto steel this is the most advanced type of proto steel Here the central core of xylem is divided into a number of separate plate arranged parallel to each other the phloem alternates the xylem example is lycopodium species fourth type of proto steel is mixed proto steel in mixed proto steel the xylem is divided into several units or group each xylem unit are scattered in ground mass of phloem example is lycopodium ceranum fifth and the last type of proto steel is mixed pith steel here the xylem elements are mixed with the parenchymatous cells of the pith this type is found in primitive fossil and living ferns they are treated to be the transitional type between true proto steel and siphono steel Now we see the second type of steel that is, that is siphono steel. This is the modification of proto steel. A steel in which the proto steel is modulated is called siphono steel. It is advanced type than the proto steel. Now the origin of siphono steel. There are two views regarding the origin of siphono steel. First is theory of interstellar origin of pith. which was proposed by bower in 1923 and supported by fan in 1996 this is the widely accepted theory of pith development in which innermost vascular tissue in a proto steel changes into parenchymatous cells and second theory is proposed by jaffrey according to this theory pith and cortex are homogeneous structure pith is formed by the invasion of cortical parenchymatous cell into the steel the invasion of pith occurs through the leaf gap or branch gap but this theory is not accepted by most of the author now we see the different type of siphono steels 
siphonosteel is divided into two types ectofloic siphonosteel and amphifloic siphonosteel first type of siphonosteel is ectofloic siphonosteel in this type of siphonosteel the pith is surrounded by concentric xylem cylinder and next to xylem there is concentric phloem cylinders leaf traces are present but leaf gap is absent in this type of steel second is amphifloic in this type of siphonosteel the pith is surrounded by the vascular tissue the concentric inner phloem cylinder surrounds the central pith next to the inner phloem is the outer phloem cylinder this type of steel is found in marsilia third type of steel is solano steel it is actually a sub category of siphonous steel in which leaf gap is present solano steel is further classified into ectofloic amphifloic dictyo steel u steel atacto steel ectofloic solano steel is derived from ectofloic siphono steel and phloem is present only on the outer side of the xylem amphifloic solano steel is derived from amphifloic siphono steel phloem is present on both side of the xylem dictyo steel is a type of solano steel that is broken into a network of separate vascular bundles and each separate vascular strand is called meristeel and the last two type of solano steel that is u steel and a tacto steel is found in higher plants so these are the different types of steel and their evolution thank you